Hello, I photography. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for you to give you the best start so that you know how to get the best out of these presets. Now, first things first, presets are not generally a one click solution. They're just here to get you in the ballpark. So for instance, if we use this image with the people and portraits, we can go through and we can see all the different starting points. And as you can see, some will work better for some photos and not others. I really like faded greens. However, on this image, it might need a little bit of a boost in the white balance and possibly a little bit of a boost in the exposure. And there we have our before and after. If a preset is going to work and be pleasing for an image, we should only need to tweak the white balance, the exposure, and very occasionally the contrast. Let's try this with some different examples. So if we head over into landscapes and cityscapes, and we can see some of the previews. Oh, I really like autumn punch. And again, I think we could do with making it slightly warmer and possibly bringing the exposure down a little bit or maybe up a little bit, maybe there. And here we have the before and after. This is because when you shoot an image, the white balance and exposure is very, very individual. You can't have the same white balance and exposure for every single image or it would just look a little bit crazy. So it's perfectly expected that you will need to tweak those two settings, but everything else should look pretty good. In these preset packs, we have landscapes and cityscapes and also people and portraits. There's no reason why you couldn't put a landscape preset onto a portrait, but you'll notice that they're not really aimed towards pleasing skin tones. which is why there is a distinction. So these sorts of presets do look better when we're looking at landscapes because we don't have any skin tones to worry about. Similarly, on the flip side of that, if you want to use people and portraits on landscapes, it works absolutely fine, but you might find that the images are a little bit softer than you would like because for people, we want the skin tones to be nice and soft and pleasing. So you can mix and match these presets on any style of photograph that you like, but they are designed specifically with certain themes in mind. So do keep that in mind when you're experimenting. So in a nutshell, try to keep within the right category for the presets. So if you're working on a landscape, the landscape ones will be great. If you're working on a portrait, the portrait ones will be great. And always remember that you may need to tweak the white balance and exposure and occasionally the contrast. You know, if you would like to add a bit more crunch or add a little bit more shadow detail, you can tailor these presets to your personal style. Presets are always supposed to be a great starting point to head you in the right direction and get you hitting the ground running. And then with a little bit of a tweak, you can get these to work fantastically on the vast majority of all photographs. Have fun experimenting, guys. I'm really excited to see what you come up with. <laughs>